All right, all right. Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey Media, Sundays from 11 a.m. to noon, broadcasting live from Detroit and stretching to Texas and the Virgin Islands, here on 107.3 FM WVIE, with co-host Longhorn, straight sports talk, no professionals here, and now here's your host that never gets it right, but is never wrong, Longhorn. All right, all right, it's game time, prime time, Detroit Sports Jersey Media time, and it's the Longhorn, how's everybody doing today on this Sunday? All right, let me let you know, we got some stuff, we got some stuff coming down the pike this morning. As you see, I'm on my cell phone, but that's all right, that's all good. Communication, that's all about communication. Well, Will, he's out doing some training. You know, trying to be uh, all he can be in, you know, top flight security and all, doing his training as as his uh, his second occupation. All right, and hopefully Jersey Girl will be calling in today and, uh, you know, giving us her words of wisdom. I'd like to say a shout-out to what's up, Hen Dog. (laughs) And what's Uh, up there, Shaza? Did y'all start that account yet? We start your uh, GoFundMe account. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a we got a GoFundMe account for people who don't realize it says Free Henry, set him free. Is in that movie Amistad, set us free. <laughs> if you haven't seen that movie, it's a great movie to check out. But here today we're gonna talk about a few things. All right, coming down the pike now, we got we're gonna talk about the uh, college football. All right, we're gonna talk about the NFL. We're gonna talk about the lines. Whooped up, whooped up on there, a season opener there. That's right, the Lions then is in full effect. If you don't know, now you know. You better ask somebody. Uh, so we're also going to talk about, we got a, a guy calling in at uh, uh, 1130. He has a fantastic, fantastic fantasy football app that's easy to use. I'm going to let him get more in detail on that app. I checked the app out myself. Now, me and fantasy football, I've tried it in the past. Very complicated, the systems I've tried to use and the apps I've tried to use in the past. But this guy, this guy, Jim, has got it so down, down home, easy to read, easy to understand, that after I viewed the app, I said, you know what, I'm signing up. And guess what? This app gives you total, total control. You know, so he's going to be talking about that app around 1130. He's going to call in. If you have any uh, any questions about that app, feel free to call in at uh, 313-868-0342. Excuse me. All right. So first we're going to also, let's give a congratulations. Congratulations to the uh, U.S. Olympic team. They have won a 1,000 gold medal, 1,000 gold medal. So congratulations. I tip my hat off to you. Also, for Simone Manuel, go ahead, girl. She got two gold medals in swimming and two silvers in swimming. Go ahead. Tip my hat to you also. So like for the NFL, uh, not the NFL, but the, uh, the basketball, all Olympic team in basketball, they had a little scare there. You know, they had a little scare from the down under, so you have to watch yourself, uh, 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 Team USA. All right. So let's get on into this show here. And like I said, if you have any questions, if you'd like to call and comment, you can also hit us up on the on the, uh, on, our, uh, on my Facebook account, Detroit 313. You can hit us up on our website, DetroitSportsJerseyMedia.com. All right. Also, we're looking for a guest announcer of the show. You know how I always start the show off with game time, prime time, Detroit Sports Jersey Mini time. Let's get it on popcorn. We are looking for a guest announce, announcer. Whoever can say that with enthusiasm and motivation, you're going to be our guest announcer on one of our shows. All right, let's go on and get into in the, uh, college football. All right. Let's talk about Will's team and his boy, Nick Saban of the, the Alabama. Now, Maurice 
Smith graduated Alabama in three years. He got his, he got his degree in three years. I'm just giving a little background on this on this here guy. Awesome football player. However, comma pause. He wanted to transfer to Georgia to play for the Bulldogs. But Will's buddy, Will's buddy, and all time putting him up on the high pedestal, Nick Saban said he was against the guy transferring to another SEC team. And he told his uh, um, Mr. Smith's mother, and he's telling everybody before, I'm very updated, but before this actually happened, that he knows best for the player. Come on, Nick, come on. You know best for the player, so you're going to try to block his transfer. When the other player has another player has transferred from one SEC team to another SEC team. But you're going to say, you know better for this guy who's graduated college in three years, not four, five, or six, but three years. He's a mature individual who wants to transfer from your school to the Bulldogs so he can get more playing time, more exposure. And you guys are just wave, try to wave a carrot in his face saying, hey, if you stay here with, with the uh, rolling ties, you will get more playing time in 2016. The guy already made up his, his decision to move to the Bulldogs. His parents are on board with him moving to Georgia to play for the Bulldogs. But Nick Saban thinks he's the, the cream of the crop of all, all guys of football is going to say, hey, I don't feel it's in the guy's best interest to transfer. Man, come on. Get out of here with that noise. This is not back in – you do not have uh, uh, a right to these players. And in the rules, he can't transfer. But an update on that, the SEC committee will allow Maurice Smith to transfer to Georgia. After, after all this – you know, rigmarole and neighbors, uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, the coach talking about he knows what's best for the young man. Finally, finally, the guy will get a chance to transfer to Georgia. And I am looking forward to seeing him play against Bama. But we all know what it's about. We all know what it's about. The guy played on Bama teams for three years. So Nick is trying to save you know, he's trying to save his secrets, I guess. I guess some Bama mustique secrets. That now if this guy go plays for Georgia, he can go over here in Georgia and say, look, this is, this, this is what we're going to run here. I know this play. I know that play. So I, I, that's, that's what it's about in a nutshell. That's all it's about. Nick Saban trying to save uh, Bama from getting ran over by the Bulldogs. And if they get ran over by the Bulldogs, you know, enough SEC team, then, you know, first thing going to come out was they're going to try to blame, blame my boy Smith and say that he gave out some uh, 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 secret information. Watch what's going to come down the pipe. The Bulldogs got an awesome team. And, uh, Mr. Smith, I tip my hat off to you, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait until you go over there and play against the Bama. I'm going to be – I might even go get me a, a Bulldogs uh, – uh, jersey, so when you guys see me on the show and I got that Georgia Bulldog sporting that jersey, you know why. And Will, your Bama is going down, brother. What's wrong with your boy Nick? You, you know, you say you got a good connection with this guy, Nick. I want you to call Nick and say, come on, man. You know, cut the chains loose. Let the players go if they want to go. It's obvious that you got him there to your school because you promised him playing time. Playing time and exposure. But he was not getting it. He did not get that the Bama, the road ties, like he should have been getting. So now he's going to Georgia where he's going to be starting immediately, right off the bat. So once again, uh, Smith, I will be checking out your, your stats and following you, and we, will re and we will report how you're doing on the Detroit Sports Jersey Media. All right, I would like to welcome all the listeners and viewers at the Detroit uh, Sports Jersey Media. All right, 
all the way from TV33. As you see, I'm using my cell phone to call in if you see me on, on TV here because we had a technical, uh, technical difficulty. But that's all right. That's all good. Sucky ducky quack quack. I got a cell phone to put me through. All right, now we're going to go on to some NFL. How you like those lines? How you like those lines, baby? The lines roaring, aren't they? Hey, some people say preseason games don't mean a thing. But, and you know, you say, oh, the preseason teams, they playing the third, uh, the third uh, stream uh, defense, and the, and the other teams they're playing against them don't have the uh, superstars in there to play, you know. So some people say it doesn't mean anything. But I beg to differ. Uh, preseason is the time for those new guys who's trying to make the squad shine. And I like that. They're hungry. They're hungry. So you cannot tell me that a preseason team playing another preseason team, that the players on that field, those 22 players, are not pumped, charged up, ready to present their best to the coaches and the staff and to the fans because they want to make the team. And you got those old cats sitting on the sideline uh, like Stafford, Romo, just to say a few quarterbacks that I don't really care for, sitting on the sidelines saying, ah, you know, they're all right. You know, I got my spot, you know, secure in this position on this team. So when some some people don't like the preseason, Will is one. He does not care for preseason. I love the preseason. Because guess what? Let one of those veteran players out there start slacking and not stand up on their A game. One of those preseason preseason players who may have put on, been put on the practice squad, or he may be cut from the team, may get that call to come on in and take that veteran's fair spot. So you always have to be ready to rock and roll. I mean, even in the off season, even if you get cut, keep up with your training, keep up with your your routine of uh, staying in shape because you never know when you're going to get that call because some veteran either has injured himself or messed up someplace uh, legally, or, my, or may I say illegally. So now it's your time to shine. So for those preseason players, I say keep going hard, keep being hungry, and never, never, never let up, all right? You're going to make the 53-team roster. If you don't make that roster, at least you can make the uh, – the practice squad, and who knows? So, Detroit Lions, mm, uh, uh, 30 points. You better ask somebody. You better ask somebody about that score. If you don't know, you can go check it out online. You can check them out. Lions, 30, still is 17. You know what I'm saying? So, you better ask somebody. The Lions are on point, baby. I think the the lies then is gonna roar with a vicious, a vicious uh, tenacity. So you better go out there and get your lion jersey now, Will. So we don't want no band jumpers. And I know you're listening to the show. If you if you got you got a little chance doing your training. So we know that you're gonna say, "Oh, that was a fluke. It really doesn't matter." But to the lions fans. To the lines, then to my Twitter, to my Twitter, Twitter buddies and my Twitter people I follow on Twitter, we got it going on. Got it going on. You better ask somebody. If you don't know, now you know. Sucky ducky quack quack. So say the lines. So say the flock. All right, all right. Let's go on to right now. About this time, it's about time to pay some bills and uh, do a little commercial break. So. Uh, Shaza, could you take us into the commercial? All right. Got to pay a little money here. And I will be right back. All right, all right. Commercial break is not coming so far, so that's all right. We're going to keep on rolling. <laughs> Just remember, we are looking for 
don't want to say, game time, prime time, Detroit Sports Jersey Media time. Let's get it all popcorn. If you have a motivation and can be live, you will be our guest announcer on one of our shows. All you have to do is go to our website, DetroitSportsJerseyMedia.com, and leave us a video of you saying, game time, prime time, Detroit Sports Jersey Media time. Let's get it all popcorn, and we will pick from those entries on who's going to be on our show, on our YouTube videos, to, to, uh, to make that announcement so I can see it back and say, oh, wow, that's what's up. All right. So let's move it on. Let's move it on, Peter Week Strong. Got a, lot, got a lot to cover today. Like I said, we had a young man call in around 15 minutes. He's going to tell you about this fantasy football app. I'm telling you, if you're a fantasy football fan, you're going to love this app. I tried to play fantasy football a few times, and it was so confusing. I, you know, I just picked players. And uh, threw it up in the air, let the cars fall where they may. I didn't, I didn't track the teams because it was too much trying to track the team. It was too complicated. Uh, my team, you know, in, in my league, I was last of the last place. Trust me. But this guy, Jim, he has an app. I, I looked at it. It's so easy to understand. I signed up for it, and I cannot wait. I'm not going to go into details and explain to you why I signed up for it so fast. But when he explains it on the show, just go visit the website. He's going to give it out on the show when he comes on, and you're going to say, oh, wow, this is all right. Longhorn, we're ready for a break. All right, we're going to go for a break now, and we'll be right back. is sponsored by Chloe and Isabel. You can check out the website at www.chloeandisabel.com slash boutique slash Jackie Ray. That's Chloe and Isabel, C-H-L-O-E and Isabel, I-S-A-B-E-L dot com slash boutique, B-O-U-T-I-Q-U-E slash Jackie Ray. J-A-C-K-U-E-R-E-Y. You can also reach merchandiser Jacqueline Reynolds at her email, JacquelineReynolds23 at gmail.com, or give her a call, 954-816-9668. Chloe and Isabel, be creative, be confident, and be you. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Facebook.com slash My Perfect Fantasy Draft. Dominate your fantasy football draft this season. My app will allow you to create a fully customized top 200 draft list set to your league's scores, scoring settings and your personal player preferences. My app makes it easy to see what players you should target and what players you need to stay away from. This web-based app is available exclusively through my website. That's ffmaverick.com. That's ffmaverick.com. Get it today for just $5. You can also go to facebook.com slash myperfectfantasydraft. And now back to Longhorn. Hey, 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 we're back. We're back. I hope you heard it. <laughs> What's going on, Charles? You sounding good over there giving out the uh, announcements. Everything's going great here in Detroit. You're doing a great job also. Doing really good holding oh, well, things down. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I gotta you know, I had to go with the Sally Sale. Exactly. Had a little tough, tough, uh, you know, difficulty with my mics, but that's all right. Not a problem. You know, one, Are, you're one coming bad in... mic would not stop no show. Exactly. You're coming in loud and clear. All right, pretty good, mighty fine, two shakes of a puppy's tail. <laughs> Always got those uh, I old, hope you guys old Texas heard that, 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 <laughs> that uh, sponsor about that uh, app for the fantasy football. Trust me. Trust me on this. The Longhorn, this is the only app that the Longhorn will endorse for family football. Uh, family, family, fantasy football. All right, I went on the app. I, I tra- checked it out. Signed up for it, right? And also, I'm going to have my buddies. We're going to start our own league. So we're going to start our own league. And what's great about this, 
it's so much about this app that, you know, I'm going to wait for Jim to come on because I'm going to have some questions for him so he can explain it to you. But I'm very excited. I am very excited. And I'm excited about the Lions. 30 to 17 against the Steelers. Don't tell me about they're not the, you know, they're not the starters and yada, yada, yada. I don't want to hear that. They may not be the starters, but guess what? You know what does not change in the in the preseason football? The coaches. The coaches. You do not have preseason coaches out there coaching those teams. So Codwell, my hat tip my hat to you, brother. You know what I'm saying? So keep doing what you're doing. Some people out there saying that this may be your last year, you know, to be a Lions coach. But I say nay say Shut them down, Caldwell, and all you naysayers out there who said, oh, okay, we went from a 0-16 to 16, uh, league uh, team schedule, then we went from 11-5 to 5 with Caldwell, and then we went down in the tubes, you know, trying to say it's all Caldwell fault. Well, I'm telling you this, Bob Cooter got their offense on all cylinders. We got a great defensive coach, head coach. We got Bob Quinn who believes in the line. And I believe in the Lions. So guess what? The Lions then is going to be on point. You better ask somebody. Go get your jersey now. And also make sure you keep tuning in. Keep tuning in on us and check us out on YouTube. And we'd like to say hello to all the listeners out there in the Virgin Islands listening on 107.3 FM, Virgin Islands Entertainment. And also for every all the viewers out there, on TV 33, what's up, Detroit? How y'all doing? And also, like I say, what's up, everybody stretching to the heart of Central Texas? Also, is gonna be viewing the show. All right, I'm a little less. All right, it's almost about that time. About that time, we got eight minutes. So I'm telling you right now, if you have any questions about Jim's app when he comes on, he's made it so easy for you, so easy. I hope he makes a basketball app and keep going on with different sports. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to sign up for that too. All right, so if you if you want to call in, call in at 313-868-4336 or 868-4351. If you want to call in and have any questions, you know, questions for me, you know, questions about the show, anything that you would like to add to the show. All right, but we let's let's let it, let's get on talking about some uh, some more NFL here. It, it's almost time, folks. Almost time. You know, for the real deal, the rock 'em sock 'em, break 'em down NFL is gonna come. Let me give you some of these scores. This happened. This happened August twelfth here. You know we. You know, some of the teams, you know, you got the Dolphins. They beat the Giants. I mean, they beat New York uh, 27 to 10. You got the Vikings. Vikings, we're coming for you, brother. We're going to play you in our, in our schedule, and, you know, we're going to take you out. You know, I'm like, I'm like the other Lions uh, fan that we had last, last, uh, last week on the show. He predicted the Lions will go 14 and 2. 14 and 2. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. That is called faith in your team. You got the Vikings. They beat the Bengals 17-16. Uh, to 16. Too close of a score. The Lions going to wipe that out. Then you got the Packers. The Packers barely beat the Browns. Are you serious? 17-11. to 11. So we, we got those on our – we know we're going to knock those two teams out right off the bat, right? That's what I say. I said we're gonna knock them out right off the bat. And for Bills team, the Cowboys, the Cowboys lost to the Rams. Can you believe it? Twenty four to twenty eight. What's the excuse? What is the excuse you're gonna give, Will, when you come back to the show? Oh, it's just a preseason. It really don't matter. It really don't count. Trust me, it counts and it matters. It counts and it matters. You better ask somebody. Also, we're going to have on Detroit Sports Jersey Media. School. School is coming back. So when school is coming back, we're going to give away backpacks, 
with uh, books that we know with school supplies in the backpacks. We're going to give out about, we, our goal is to give out 20. So we will let you know where we're going to be at to give those backpacks out, future date and future place to be announced on the next show next Sunday. So keep tuning in. We're going to give out 20 backpacks with school supplies in them for the youngins, all right? Because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Okay, so Detroit Sports Jersey Media is stepping up. We're going to team up with some partners in the Detroit area where we're going to give out some backpacks. And we may, have, we may even have a drop-off area where you can drop off some school supplies to help out the little ones. You know, hey, they're our future, right? So let's step up to the plate and help them out with some supplies. You know, when I was in school, I never remember uh, – coming home with a list of supplies that I needed. Because when I was in school way back in the day, and I went to Folch uh, Middle School next door to Southeastern High School, they actually used to give us free supplies before the school started. The school did. We got, we got paper. We got those uh, blue folders. We got uh, pencils. We got uh, um them little um, spring no- spiral notebooks. We got 500, 500 uh, sheets of paper, you know, the little uh, copy paper like deal. We they, The school gave us supplies. I do not understand why the school system, you know, you know, would not give up some money for supplies. I was shocked when, uh, when my niece came home one day with a list of supplies and I said, what is that for? Uh, this is things that we need for school. I said, why do you need two boxes of tissue? Oh, that's for the other students. So the, so the supplies that she actually got that we went and bought for her, they weren't just for her. It's so that the classroom would have supplies for the school year. What's up with that? You mean to tell me all those big wigs? I know I'm getting off on a tangent, and uh, you know, and I'm getting on my soapbox. But you mean to tell me all those big wigs in the school system cannot cut their check and come out of their check and and, and uh, supply the schools? I think it's a flim flammatory going on, folks. But that's all right, Detroit Sports Jersey Media. We are going to give back to the youngins, giving away 20, 20 backpacks with school supplies in the backpacks. Place to be announced and time to be announced. First 20 parents to come through will get a backpack for their kids, all right? Now, look, if you're uh, in high school, don't come get no backpacks. These backpacks is for the little ones, you know, elementary, middle school, not no uh, junior in high school, and this is for elementary and middle school only. All right, let me put that out there for you right now. Elementary, middle school students only. All right? All right, so pretty shortly, about two minutes, Jim should be calling in here and to discuss his new uh, fantasy football app. And uh, hopefully I can get some fantasy football league going on, you know, on the show here so I can, uh, you know, tell people where my team is at. I'm going to go on my Twitter account. You can follow me on Twitter at DJS Radio at DJS Radio. Follow me on my Twitter account, and we'll get us a Twitter football uh, team going now uh, with this new app that my man Jim has coming on, and he's going to explain it to us, all right? Also, we got have coming on later in the show. We're going to talk about something that's very dear to everybody's heart. Yes, money. We're going to talk about the M-O-N-E-Y, baby. You better ask somebody. There are a lot of scams going on out there with people's money. There's a scam going out there that somebody's calling people claiming to be the IRS. So I want to talk about that scam and what you can do to protect yourself and, and, and your money and your funds so that you not get scammed on that. Also, we got the big dummy, the big dummy coming up later. And if you have any big dummy, let me switch balls now because my hand is getting a little tired on, my, on this side. So pause for the calls. 
All right, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I know. I could I could get the uh, the headless mic, just plug it in here and talk through the mic. We tried it, but you know, my phone. I got a. Let me tell you, I got a phone that has a cracked screen. You can't see it, of course. Um, it has some issues, but my wife has me a new phone waiting in the in the other room there that I'm gonna get get going here soon as I get off the air, and this here phone is going to be uh, obsolete, all right? So, as I was saying, make sure that you keep tuning in for the financial uh, advice that I'm giving you to help you save your M-O-N-E-Y and to protect you from scams. Everybody's out there trying to get somebody's money. Unfortunately, you got some people out there doing it on the wrong on the wrong end of the spectrum, all right? So I'm here to give you some financial advice. Also, we got the big dummy. There's a lot of big dummies out there, folks. So if you got a big dummy that you know that you would like to us to talk talk about on the show or you would like to call in on the show, just call in and let us know who your big dummy is. All right? All right, now let's go to the back to the NFL. The NF, the Lions, Lions fans, we're going to be having a tailgate party up there at the, at the Lions Stadium. We're going to have a banner up so you can come through and check us out, see your radio uh, radio personalities, meet Will, shake his hand, you know, probably meet Shaza, the voice behind the uh, behind the commercials here. Uh, we see we get old Hen Dog out, let Hen Dog free so he can come out to an event. So Detroit Sports Jersey, we're doing great things. Also about Detroit Sports Jersey, I'm going to let you know, we're also here to help the seniors in high school. We have a scholarship fund, a scholarship fund that that is constantly being updated with some cash so that at the end of the school year, next year, end of the school year, seniors can apply for a scholarship from the Detroit Sports Jersey media. You don't have to go into broadcasting. You just apply for it. You don't. You do not have to be a Detroit student. You just have to write write an essay on why school is important to you, why education is so important to you, and then we will we will read those essay and announce the winners for the Detroit Sports Jersey Scholarship Fund. And I say winners because there will be more than one winner. Now, I'm not saying we're going to give you $100 million for school, but every little thing helps. So trust me, just just uh, stay in tune, all right? Stay focused with us, hang with us. This show is for you, all right? It's for you, it's for the uh, for the viewers, it's for the listeners. We're just a down-home uh, radio talk show. It's like being in the backyard and you're talking about sports with your buddies or your butt ex. I say butt ex because even women talk about sports, so I'm not going to keep, you know, exclude nobody by saying buddy. So the butt ex and the buddies is like an outdoor barbecue. If you like a team because of the color of their uniforms and you think they're going to go far in the, in the league, then that's why you like that team. And guess who's coming out of retirement? Well, guess who came out of retirement? Pacquiao. That's right. Pacquiao is boxing again. Pacquiao is boxing. And guess who he wants to box a rematch? Wait for it. Wait for it. Yes, he wants to box Floyd Mellow. Mellow. <laughs> Are you serious? Who is going to pay for that rematch? You. Me? Not me. I'm not going to pay for no rematch for somebody who's coming out just to make more money. You know, Pacquiao, brother, just get out the game. Meriwether, stay out the game. You know, nobody's going to get schemed on that, on that, uh, on that watch us pay for view boxing again. We know it's a sham. We know Mellowell's going to run around the ring. You know, so we're not, you know, personally, I'm not going for it. But some people might. All right? Still waiting for Jim to call in. 
But you know what? I'm gonna give you a few uh, things about his about his uh, fantasy football apps until he calls in. I'm gonna let you know a few things. And the reason why I'm talking about this fantasy football is because football season is right around the corner, baby. You know, you can hit a pass. I was watching the preseason, and I had the volume all the way up because I wanted to hear the clack, clack, clack of those pads. You know, it's it's just it's an adrenaline rush. Did I say that right? Adrenaline? I couldn't get it out right. It's just a rush like no other. So I'm going to tell you a couple of things about his apps until we get him on the air here. Number one, control. You have ultimate control on this on this, on his apps. There's a couple of features that I like to talk about on his apps that I really like. And one is that you can filter players. You can go to uh, onto the left side of the app. There's a, there's a tab that says filter. So you can go through there and you can pick players by their age. If you want a running back that's younger than 22, you can put in that 22. It's going to break up all the running backs younger than you know, 22 or whatever. If you want to run it back, if you don't want to uh, uh, have a running back in there that's 28 years old, you can put the age 28 and hit it, and it'll bring up all the running backs for the age of 28 and above. That way, you can say to yourself, "Hmm, I don't think I, I don't think I want him on my team." Right? Not only that, let me give you some more information. You can even filter by coach. Coach, can you believe that? New coach. All right, now that's that's astounding right there. Another thing, the point system. The point system in your league can be, uh, you can add the point system on the system, on this app. You, you, you and your fellow uh, teammates get together and say, hey, I want two points for this, negative one point for that. You put those points in there. That's customizing to the highest. Also, let me, let me, let me get my little... Uh, cheat sheet right here, because I don't want to uh, mess up something, you know, and forget something about this guy's app that, that's truly awesome, all right? So let me, let me, uh, you know, here's some papers rattling in a minute here, because I wrote down some things about my man's app that you need to check out, all right? Okay. He has historical data on his app. Just go through it. Go to his website. And check it out, and then you will see, like, wow, this guy is on point. He thought of it all, baby. He thought of it all. He wasn't playing around. All right, his legend, his legend on this app is real easy to understand. You know, I mean, this guy, I don't know. Uh, you better watch it, Jim, because some of fantasy football websites might come after you, brother, because you just made this. Too too uh too easy, but but challenging, but it's fun. Who like? He also has a blog on his website, a uh, up to date blog. For example, he has on his, on one of the blogs caution: these players are overrated in every fo- fantasy football league. All right, you got uh you got Jonathan Stewart. He explained why he's overrated. You got Alan Hearns. He's explaining why he's overrated. Jonathan Stewart plays for the Panthers, right? Uh, Alan Alan Hearns Hearns plays for the Jag with uh, Jag. Uh, I can get out Jacksonville. <laughs> All right. He got Demaris Thomas. Demarius Thomas. He plays for the Denver uh, Denver as a wide receiver. So on his blog, he has blogs, easy to read blogs. Down to earth, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. Uh, it's not going to take you all the way back to the uh, to 1920s and all that type of stuff. Real easy. He has a great uh, great blog on his website. You can check that out. Also, number one reason why I went to this guy's app and signed up. It is not complicated, folks. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to pick your team and be in control of your team. You want power in your fantasy football hands? Go to this guy's app. Do you want to feel like a general manager 
of your fantasy football team, go to this guy's app, all right? If you want total control, you can customize. And what do we like to do, uh, 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 yeah, folks? We like to customize, right? Some people customize their cars. Some people customize their motorcycles. Some people customize what they put on, their ensemble. You know, you can get people customizing uh, gym shoes on the Internet. So this app lets you customize your team on how you want your team to be set up. You are in total control. And the draft is this. As Jim said, the draft, to be successful in fantasy football, 50% is draft. 30% 30% is managing your team, and the other 20% is luck. Well, with his app, managing your team is going to boost that. That percentage will be up because you have total manage, manage, You have total control, right? All right. So now we're going to go to the, the uh, Olympics. The Olympics, who's been watching the Olympics? I'm telling you, it's been a sight in the Olympics. We got Bolt running for the 100. We got Bolt running for the 100 meters. The fastest man alive. Can Bolt do it again? I hear he's going to retire. I got the I got the little thing down packed while I do like this here. You know, does that look like insane Bolt? I'm not like Bolt right there. Is that, is that how he does it? You know, I'm not a runner. <laughs> I'm more of a walker, so mine wouldn't. I wouldn't have my arms stretched this far out. I have it about like this here. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's my pose because I'm a walker. I can walk pretty fast. All right, what's going on. What's going on? Oh yeah, let's let's talk about some swimmers. That that guy. Uh, 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 oh man, his name escapes me. You're a god almighty. The swimming guy. Wow, oh, man, I know. Oh, I know all the swimmers out there is gonna be gonna call me and text me and say, "How can you forget Michael Phelps?" Ha <laughs> ha! I got you. Michael Phelps is doing his thing in the Olympics. You can say what you want to say about Michael Phelps and his, you know, his off, uh, you know, his off um, shenanigans, you know, outside the pool you know, about the weed and all, you know, smoking the stuff and all that type of stuff. But Michael Phelps, man, I'm telling you, that guy is part fish. He is part fish. All right, just check this out. This guy has more gold medals than countries. Can you can you just picture that? More gold medals than countries. He is killing it. He is part fish. He says when he when he does train, he swims for about five hours. Five hours and eat twelve thousand calories a day. Can you picture that? You know, you know, to make one pound, it only takes three thousand five hundred calories for one pound on your body. This guy eats twelve thousand calories a day. Now, he's not eating no Snickers and drinking no pop and all that type of stuff, eating no bag of potato chips. But just imagine 12,000 calories per day, but he's swimming five hours a time in a swimming pool. You know, Olympic Olympic, Olympic athletes, you got to think about it. These athletes trained. They train, they train, they train for one glorious moment of standing on that podium and representing their country. And the USA Olympic teams, this go around, is doing it up, baby. You better go check the stats. See who has more golds, more silver, and more bronze. The United States is killing in Rio. Next time, I think I – now, I won't go to the Winter Olympics because I don't like cold weather. I don't do the cold, you know. I love Detroit. I love, you know, the seasons in Detroit, but I don't do the cold weather, all right? I don't mess around with the hawk. So 
But the next time they have a Summer Olympics, I'm going to see where they're at. And the Detroit Sports Jersey Media is going to be on deck at the next Summer Olympics. And we will be there broadcasting from there, you know, shaking hands and doing doing everything that we can do to make it uh, to represent Detroit. All right, so now we're going to get into one more commercial break here. And when we come back, I'm going to give you some financial advice. And I'm going to talk about the big dummies. All right. So you ready to roll rock and roll there and, and, and bring it on up? Okay, we're ready. All right, here we go. I'll see you shortly. Commercial. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Chloe and Isabel. You can check out the website at www.chloeandisabel.com slash boutique slash Jackie Ray. That's Chloe and Isabel, C-H-L-O-E and Isabel, I-S-A-B-E-L dot com slash boutique, B-O-U-T-I-Q-U-E slash Jackie Ray, J-A-C-K-U-E-R-E-Y. You can also reach merchandiser Jacqueline Reynolds at her email, JacquelineReynolds23 at gmail.com, or give her a call, 954-816-9668. Chloe and Isabel, be creative, be confident, and be you. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Facebook.com slash MyPerfectFantasyDraft. Dominate your fantasy football draft this season. My app will allow you to create a fully customized top 200 draft list set to your league's scoring settings and your personal player preferences. My app makes it easy to see what players you should target and what players you need to stay away from. This web-based app is available exclusively through my website, ffmaverick.com. That's ffmaverick.com. Get it today for just $5. Facebook.com slash my perfect fantasy draft. And now back to Longhorn. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, we're back. We're back. This is live. This is not Memorex. You better ask somebody. All right. Look at that app, ffmaverick.com. Sign up today. You know, once you sign up for it, Maybe we all can get into the league together. We know share, you know, each, each, uh, get in touch with each other and share and share the league. All right, go to that app today. It's fantastic. You know, I don't, I don't endorse, I do not endorse too many uh, products, but this guy here, well, sports products, but this guy here app, man, you got to see it, got to see it to believe it. All right, so now. Let's get into some financial advice. First of all, there are three people that you do not mess with, and that's the I, the R, and the S. But one thing you have to know about the IRS is they will not call you and tell you that you owe them some money and to send it to them. The IRS will not do that. So, we had a young, uh, 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 elderly uh, a woman here who got scammed out of $5,500 because somebody called her phone, pretending to be the IRS, told her if she didn't pay this money that they would put a lien on her house. She did not know, you know, because people can sound very authoritative on the phone. You know, and I don't know how they got the information. You know, they didn't have, I don't think they had a social, but they had a name and a phone number. And, you know, some people just look up, if you owe the IRS and they call you, but which they do not call you, but if you owe the IRS and somebody scamming and they call you, the scammers, you may think that, you know, you can settle with the IRS over the phone by sending them some money. If any... I repeat, anybody call you claiming to be the IRS telling you that you need to send them some money or they're going to put lien on your taxes, they're going to put lien on your houses, lien on your cars, or whatever. One, number one, 
you can tell them right off the bat. I don't know who you think you're fooling, but the IRS do not call people. You know, if they say, oh, this is a new program that's out, oh, really? Oh, really? I tell you what, leave me your name and your number, and I'm going to call the IRS and see if there's a new program out, you know, where they call and people and ask them people to pay, to pay their their debts. Of course, they'll probably give you their number, which is going to go right back to them, where they're going to have somebody else sitting there scamming, or they'll say, well, let me put my supervisor on the phone, and he's going to play the role like he's the big IRS man and, and, and pressure you and, and try to, try to uh, uh, game you into sending some money. But you ask for their name and their number. Don't call their number back. If they put a supervisor on, ask for that supervisor's name and number and tell them you'll get back with them shortly. Then you call the IRS and let them know about this flim-flammetry scam that somebody's trying to run on you. We got to stay protected, folks. You know if you owe the IRS, what are they going to send you? They're going to send you a letter if you don't pay. And then when they send me a they haven't sent me a letter. <laughs> they, they, you know, things. I never got an uh, IRS letter that I owe them. I might not get much money coming back as I would like to, but I never got the you owe us money letter. But if, even if you get a letter from them, call the IRS, you know, do not call that. I would say don't even call that number on a letter. letter may be fake. So go online, you know. Get in touch with your local IRS. You can even go to the tax assessor office in your town and let them know about the scam, and they will put you through to the IRS uh, so you can talk to them about, you know, what, what's going on, all right? So watch your money and watch out for scams. You know, people play on others' fears. Fears. Or the or the thought of, of uh, having some negative consequences dealing with your cash. So if somebody ever called me from the IRS talking about I owe them money, I'm going to keep them on the phone for a minute, two, three. I'm going to ask them all type of questions. I'm even going to ask them, did you owe money? <laughs> did you owe money uh, this tax season? Oh, really? You didn't, huh? So why, how come you didn't owe no money? I'm going to get off into that business. Just keep them on the phone talking. Just talk about any old thing. You know, if they say if they say they, that you owe them five thousand dollars, tell them, okay, how about this? If I owe five thousand dollars, you pay twenty five hundred. I pay twenty five hundred. You know, won't you help me out, brother or sister, whoever it is on the phone making these phony claims? You know, just just have fun with them. Pretty soon, guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna say, well, sir, ma'am, um. Uh, we, you know, we got a lot of calls coming in, and you know, we'd like to talk to you further. But this is the place that you need to send the money. Yeah, right. That's not going to happen, buddy, because the IRS will not and does not call people for money. That it, it it even states that on their website, they will not call you. They'll send you a letter now. But they will not call you. And if you know that you're going to owe the IRS some money, folks, please call them up and make some type of payment arrangement. You cannot run from the I, the R, and the S. They will eventually walk you down. And if you get taxes coming from next year because you didn't pay this year taxes that you owe, trust me, oh, they know about it. They're, they're going to take their taxes with interest. So, listen to what I'm telling you now. Pass the word. The I, R, and the S will not and do not call people about taxes that they are owed, tax due. All right? Everybody got that? All right, that's what's happening. I know it's a little bit longer than to find out your minute, and if Will was on the show, he would say, oh, man, it's about 10 hours. What are you talking but that's all right. We want to keep people safe and keep their money in their pockets. All right, we got about six minutes in the show. Six minutes in the show. We're going to run up to Big Dummy. If we can get the Big Dummy coming up in here, I got a Big Dummy I'm going to talk about. 
you know, so once that music starts, I give a little beat going on, you know, and we got the, we still got the fun, the free hand, free hand dog. Oh, big dummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Big dummy, big dummy. Okay, let me let me switch falls. Let me switch hands. Get his hands get a little tired. All right, hold on. Hold it. We got a... All right, there it is. See, that, that went through so fast, you didn't even see it, right? <laughs> all right. Big dummy. <sighs> we have some people that are calling the cops 911 on black folks that are doing regular things in their neighborhood. For example, these two black guys were in this neighborhood, and they was they you know they got a call. Uh, the, somebody called the police, says there's suspicious activity. Suspicious activity in the neighborhood, and two black guys out, out there messing with a car. Now, this call was not at 10 o'clock at night, 1 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning. This call, when the police arrived on the scene to see what was going on, there was two black guys out there at 9.30 in the morning, one brother giving another brother a jump because his battery was bad. All right? So people, and then there was another incident where a family, a black guy, black lady, and their kid walking down the street, and somebody called and said, there's some, there's some black people uh, walking around in my neighborhood that I do not know, and they look suspicious. Police roll up on them. How you guys doing? Oh, we're all right. All they were doing was walking through the neighborhood, you know. So my thing is this. If you're calling the police, and waste the police time because you have racially motivated uh, ideas, you are a big dummy. The police have more, more things to do than to come on crazy calls because you have racially motivated ideas about what black folks are doing in your neighborhood. Come on, y'all. Don't be a big dummy, all right? Don't be a big dummy like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and, there you go, big dummy. Roll it. All right, all right. That was our big dummy. We had a big dummy. We had our financial uh, minute there. That's before the big dummy. You know, once again, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, uh, uh, watching the YouTube videos. You can go go check out the YouTube videos. We post them on YouTube, Detroit Sports Jersey Media, uh, Detroit Sports Jersey Media. Also, I would like to thank everybody for listening on 107.3 FM, Virgin Islands Entertainment. Radio. Also, I'd like to thank everybody for viewing on TV 33. What's up? What's up, Detroit? All right, and all stretching all the way to the central heart of Texas. You know, some people say, "Well, why am I, you know, one of the co-hosts of the F? I live in Texas." Well, because I'm stationed here. I'm in the army here. So, but still, I was raised in Detroit on the east side. Graduated from Southeastern High School. Went to Wayne Community College. Went to Wayne State. You know what I'm saying? Work for the city of Detroit Water Department. I know there's some issues up there now with the water department, but I worked for the water water department for 10 years, fixing water mains and sewer lines and uh, before I actually joined the Army. You got to wrap it up. All right, so we've got a minute left, so I'm going to leave you with this. Game time, prime time, Detroit Sports Jersey Media Time. Stay educated, dedicated, and highly motivated. Keep your minds on your goals, Longhorn, and I'm gone. Thank you listeners from Detroit, Texas, and the Virgin Islands for joining us here live on Detroit Sports Jersey Media with your host, 
Will, and co-host Longhorn. Every Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern, right here on 107.3 FM WVIE. Visit us at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Trade Sports Talk. No professionals here. Have a great week.